A rally call for help for Georgia Alzheimer's patients, caregivers, and their families. Well, protests in Atlanta and across the country today over lack of Medicaid and Medicare coverage for a pair of drugs that could help slow the brutal disease. The Alzheimer's Association says the cost for caring for people with the disease and other similar ailments nationally is about $345 billion. That's in the course of a single year. And for families, the cost is really beyond measure. Atlanta News First, Amanda Rose reports from that rally. Access when we want it. Yeah. Families and Alzheimer's patients showing up in force at the Medicare and Medicaid Services Building in downtown Atlanta, also at the nation's capital. They're demanding the approval of two drugs with promising hope for Alzheimer's. This agency, also known as CMS, decides whether drugs will be covered in Medicare or Medicaid coverage. As of now, the two Alzheimer's drugs in question are not yet traditionally FDA approved. So far, they've only been through an accelerated approval. I want to be able to lay next to my husband. I want to be able to know who he is and not wonder. More time is what Arthena Kasten says she needs most. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016. The doctor said she had 10 good years before her memory fades completely. My every day, my every thought is, will I live to see my grandchildren? Will I be there with my husband? What will I do? She's hopeful for access to the drugs Lakimbi and Ajuhelm, but for now, CMS is not budging until the FDA gives gives traditional approval. They say CMS is required to examine whether a medication is reasonable and necessary. This standard differs from the criteria used by the FDA to assess whether medications are safe and effective. We're watching them die in front of us. It's not fast enough for Ann Sechrist, whose husband was part of a clinical trial for the drug Lakimbi. With the trial now over, his health is rapidly declining. All FDA drugs are covered by Medicare except for Alzheimer's, and that's not right. For now, protesters hope that the FDA traditionally approves the two drugs later this year and that Medicare and Medicaid will cover the cost. In downtown Atlanta, Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First.